Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A lot of people have requested this video. What is the video? Old wives tale predictions for baby gender. At the end, we're gonna give you our personal predictions, whether we think it's a boy or a girl, so stay tuned for that. In the comments below, drop your prediction, whether you think it's a boy or a girl, and let us know what you think. If you are new to our channel or just haven't been updated on any recent videos we posted or any posts on Instagram, we are waiting to find out the gender of this baby. Wow, I actually, I can't believe that she's waited as long as she has. I thought for sure she would crack by like 10 weeks or so. I thought by then you would be like scheduling things yeah, to find out yeah. and like be like, That's okay, That's how it was with this. Louie. Yeah, so I I'm really, really surprised. Scheduled as soon as I possibly could. But with this baby, I am currently 18 weeks and how many days pregnant? Look at this baby. 18 weeks, four days pregnant, three days? It's Almost kicking like crazy. Weeks. We have so many different old wives tales to take care of today, so we're gonna jump right in and start doing some of the old wives tales. What's the first one we have? Baby's heart rate is the very first one on this list. So it is uh, said that if the baby's heart rate is under 140 beats per minute, it will be a boy. If faster than 140 beats per minute, it's a girl. Oh wow, and we'll go off of the last ultrasound yeah. that we had. We're not gonna do it right now, but the last ultrasound we had, which we haven't released a vlog for that yet, the heartbeat was... At 16 weeks, the heart rate was 143. So right, right on the verge, but that is said to be a girl. So that's one point for girls, and 143, I, L-O-V-E, four letters, love, three letters, Y-O-U, you. So the baby was saying, I love you at our last ultrasound. That is so cute. I had no idea this was actually a thing though. Yeah, 143. That's what me and my ex-girlfriend used to always say to each other. Yeah, darling. <laughs> All right, so the next test we're doing is the cabbage test. So Wow, what um, is this test? So what we do is we're gonna cut up some cabbage or boiling some water in the background. Once the water boils, we're going to take the cut up cabbage leaves and soak it in the water for 10 minutes. Okay. And then after we soak it, we drain the water so it'll be like a purplish water. And then we mix it with pea, equal parts, I think. Wait, we're mixing pea with the water? <laughs> people, when I posted on Instagram what wife sales to do, people wanted Max to deal with pea. Yuck, come on, this is disgusting. <laughs> So this will be, I guess. Can you tell me who, okay, what woman was sitting there like, hmm, got some cabbage, got some water. Yeah, how does got this some pee. make any sense? Let's I, mix it together and that's gonna tell me the gender of my baby. I don't get it at all. And I don't know if there's a certain amount of cabbage. I just cut up half of the cabbage. That's why her pee has been sitting right here, yuck. Yeah, so my pee is sitting right next to us and we're gonna mix equal parts cabbage to pee, cabbage water to pee. And then if it turns- What are we mixing on, it in? We're not mixing it in my bowls that I eat my cereal out of. If the cabbage water turns red, then it's a boy. If it turns pink, then it's a girl. It's probably gonna be pink because- You're mixing like water with purple water. Unless like the cabbage makes really red water. Well, I think if my pee maybe was darker, then it would be a boy. Is that another old last Maybe show? it goes by your pee darkness. I think so. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna let the water boil and we'll just go on to the next test. How you carry your baby belly. Old wives tales say that if you carry like a basketball with all of your belly in the front, you're carrying a girl. That's what my mom, my mom's really big on this one, by the way. If you're carrying more like a watermelon with your belly showing around the hips, then you'll be having a boy. I always thought it was the opposite. I, I think a lot of people, what they say is if you're carrying higher, it's a girl, and if you're carrying lower, it's a boy. That's what I remember. Should we do that one? Because I've heard that one before. Yeah, we're, that's the one we're going with I don't for know. This. Right now, I think I'm too small for this to be like... Hold on, let me see. You know? Do I have any in my hips? If I'm if Your I'm hips carrying... don't lie. <laughs> Shut up. Do I have any weight in my hips? I don't know. I can't feel your hips. Well, I don't know. Just can you show everybody your baby bump? We need a. Am need I a... high or low? I feel like I'm low. <sighs> That's really tough to yeah, say. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to. This one, I don't think we're gonna rate because I can't. Say... Can you say? No. I can't say. I feel like I just have a normal belly. I can't tell whether it's high or low. Kind of looks like a beer belly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cute, love it. Um, okay, so the next one is the ring test. I think many people are, are very familiar with this. I think we're gonna have to move- Russians, over. especially. We're gonna have to move over to the couch because I'm gonna have to lay down. You're gonna hold the Wait. ring over my belly with my hair and my wedding ring. And if it's in a circle, actually I won't tell you. If it's in a circle, it's a boy. Sure. 
No, it's a girl. <laughs> and if it's in a line, it's a boy. Should we do that right now? Yeah, let's do it. All right, hold on. Let's pull out my hair. Hey, can we find one of those girls' hairs and pull that off? <laughs> yeah. Can you just find a hair? Here, I found one. This one. Is this like 50 hairs? It feels really... One, two, three! <sighs> okay. And then my ring. All right, let's bring you over to the couch. All right, hair number one did not work. We're gonna get hair number two. I'll just find a single hair. Ah, you're not gonna be sitting. You're gonna be like kneeling next to me. Oh, like I'm proposing. So hold this. Watch out. I have to lay it, down. It's time sensitive. <laughs> oh, <No. laughs> I'm time sensitive right now. Okay, so what do I do? So you hold it on my belly. Get it completely still. Okay. Get it completely still and do not move your arm. Okay, well this is some hocus pocus stuff because if people actually believe in this... <laughs> Alright, let's see. How does it gain momentum if my arm is... It's going in a line, that means... It's... Now it's going in a circle. Are you moving it? I am not moving it! I am just trying to keep my arm alive! Okay, you're just... What the hell? <laughs> Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Shut up. You just have to make sure the hair doesn't slip out of your hand, Max. I would say it's a line. It does look to be a line. Okay. And now it looks to be a circle. Now it's a circle. That looks to be circle. A circle. It's All a right, circle. Let's be done with this test. It's a circle. That's another one for girl. Yeah. That's two for girls. Yeah. So that's two for girl, zero for boys so far. Now we're going to the cabbage test because the water is boiling. Um, what should we put my pea mixture into? Okay. A bowl, paper. <laughs> Do you think it'll break? What? This? No, but why don't we use the old pickle jar? That one's kind of a nice one right here for toys. Wait, they're both old pickle jars. <laughs> I guess either one works. I'm kind of scared to put boiling water in that. Why? Do you think it'll break? Baby girl, this isn't gonna break from okay. boiling water. You do it then. We'll put, um, let's put some cabbage in there. Wait, you just put, stuff the cabbage up in here? Well, I don't think this is the perfect container because it'd be really hard to strain this later. Okay, well put it in one of the plastic containers. It's going to melt. Do you understand that? Should we put it in here? No! <laughs> Our food bowls, are they waterproof? Our glass ones? Yeah. Baby girl, <laughs> I, it's not gonna melt plastic. It will! We're just dumping it right on here instead of over the sink? I'm, I want nothing to do with this. Oh, I don't think I have equal parts of pee to that. Well, actually, that's fine. That'll just soak. Okay. And, oh, and then we can dump the pee yeah. and this in something else. Sure. All right, 10 minutes? Yeah. It turns blue? Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right, what's next? Cravings. If you're craving sweets, it's a girl. If you're craving salty, it's a boy. What would you say you're craving? Mostly salty. Yes. I have gone through like 50 different jars of pickles in the past. Literally, we have all these pickle jars, and we're saving them because they make great toy like containers for smaller toys. Yeah. Yeah, that's an easy one for the boys. So that's two for girls, one for boy. I think that's the count. If that's not right anymore, the counter is somewhere on the screen. Morning sickness is an old wives' tale that says if you're really sick and nauseous and not feeling well, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. But if you're feeling on the up and up, it's a boy. And how have you been feeling this pregnancy overall? It's really hard to say because with Louie, I felt like icky in the first trimester and then like great the last year. I would say at up until this point, she's felt pretty sickly and nauseous. So I would have to give that to the girls again. Okay. So is that three for girl? I think so. Next up, we have the Chinese gender calendar and we're looking at it over at the computer right here. What it is, is basically it predicts the gender of your baby based on the month of conception and the mother's age at that point in time. And so her age is 26. Mm -hmm. 
You're 26, right? Yeah. Okay. Double check myself. Uh, so your age is 26. The month of conception was, we believe, March. And so what the Chinese gender calendar reveals to us, 26 and March, boy. Boy. So what do we have for the count? I don't know. I think know. we have three I or four for the girls. I can't keep track. The count is down here. We lost track, but I think that's another one for the boys. This is the baking soda test. We're gonna take two tablespoons of baking soda, mix it with my pea. How much pee you got to, for these tests? Well, hopefully enough. I should be drinking more water. All right, so here's one tablespoon. There's two tablespoons. It's a lot of baking soda. I'm thrilled. All right, and now we're gonna have Max do the honors of mixing my pee with this. If it fizzes, it's a boy. If it doesn't react, it's a girl. So you're telling me that, fi that pee fizzing yep. can change. Yeah. So, so okay. it either fizzes or it doesn't. So for some pee it fizzes and some pee it doesn't. That yeah. seems really bizarre because I expect like the same result to occur when you yeah. mix two substances. Okay. This is disgusting. Ew, it's cold. It was warm. Okay, well, I don't want to spill it. I don't know if these cups spill, baby. Can you just do it and then put it back on the paper towel after? Because we don't use it Can you put the paper all? towel under it? Because I am never eating off this thing again, yeah. ever, if it spills on here. Okay, here goes the pee. Hold on, it's not. It's farting. <laughs> it's making farting noises. Well, that's, I think we have to mix it. It's not fizzing. I think it was just. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fan up in here. Okay, but it's not fizzing. It's just regular. Look at it. It's just laying on top of the baking soda. I see it. Yep, not fizzing. So that's one for the who? Wait. It's fizzing. Do you hear it? You can even hear it. Look at you can see little bubbles. Look at. I'll be darned. It's it's fizzing. <laughs> Wait, what is fizzing? It's a boy. If it's fizz fizzing. Another one for the boys. The boys are making a comeback. I don't know what the counts are, but the boys are making a comeback. Wow, this is cool. It's like bubbling. I wish I could show you guys without like making people sick. Okay. Disgusting. So that was a baking soda test, a red cabbage test. We have. Two minutes left. It's blue. I didn't expect it to be blue. Yeah, I didn't know the cabbage turned blue. That's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. Partner weight gain. So if your partner gains weight alongside you, you're having a little boy. If they don't gain weight, you're having a girl. Have you gained weight, Max? I know you weigh yourself about 10 times a day. You know, it's interesting because I had, but that's because I had an injury and I stopped running. But now that I've been kind of Moving more lately, I've lost that weight. Okay, so you so haven't gained any weight. I would weight. say neutral. Okay, so no weight gain is you're having a little girl. Another one for the girls. <laughs> so the next one is spontaneous acne. Have you gotten any acne spontaneously? <laughs> yeah, my my breakout situation has been so much worse ever really? since I got pregnant. Yeah, and I remember with Louis like. Towards the end of the third trimester, like second trimester, I felt like my skin was the best it had ever looked. But right now, look at my forehead. Can I pop your pimples tonight? No, there's just constantly breakouts on my forehead. Like I just recently had a breakout around my, what is this, my lip? I wish I could pop pimples for a living because I love it. Yeah, but anyway, I, I do have way more acne than normal, which means we are having a girl. Another one for the girls. They're pulling ahead now. There's a timer for the cabbage. Okay, time for a cabbage test. It's been 10 minutes. It's been soaking in here. Who knew that cabbage turned water blue? It's really pretty blue too. Yeah, I, I love that. Let's see if you guys can see it. Hmm. Also, if you don't want to see pee, fast forward to this timestamp. So we're going to put this cabbage water, some of the cabbage water, into my pee cup. Or should we mix it equal? Here, let's do half and half. Yeah. If you spill any of this on my hand, I am going to lose it. I should just stop. Pee she wall. All right. So we have half of my pee. Yep. And the other half, hot, hot, hot cabbage water. Here goes the cabbage water mixing with the urine. So I just had a premonition that some of the cabbage might fall out. So oh, and then it would splash. Yeah. And yeah. Good, good call. Huh. Okay. That's probably good. It's purple. Is it purple or blue? 
It's definitely it, purple. Look at it. Wait, wait, I thought it was supposed to turn red. You told me red. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> at the beginning of this... Yeah, it was red or pink. <laughs> oh, it's turning... I mean, it depends on how you yeah, look at like it. Yeah, it's like an angle. If you look at it from this angle... But if you look at it from this angle, which we should probably look at, it looks pink. That is not pink, baby girl. That is purple. Purple wasn't an option, baby boy. What do we do? <laughs> more pee? Yeah, Maybe probably. Maybe my pee is just too light. light. Okay, now it's a little lighter. Now it looks purple. Hmm. Are you sure that the colors were red and pink and not okay, hold purple on. and Let's Google this again. blue? If it turns reddish pink color, then you're having a boy. If the liquid remains unchanged or takes on a greenish hue, then you're having a girl. This is via sneak peek test.com. Okay, so greenish hue is girl and reddish pink is boy, is yeah, that what it says? Yeah. I would definitely say reddish pink. Yeah, there's no green, but I don't see. Like it's like bluish reddish pink. Yeah. Purple. <laughs> we'll go with boy for this one. Okay, that sounds fair. Where where are you plan on dumping that at, baby girl? <laughs> okay, walk very steady with those hands, because that is full. <laughs> what? Don't put them together, you're gonna squish the piss out! Stop, grab the last pop, you're gonna make me spill. I don't even want to touch anything in here anymore. Okay, so we got the pee cleaned up. That's out of the way, thank goodness. The next test involves pregnancy glow. If you're glowing, then it's a boy. If you're not glowing, it's supposedly a girl because the baby girl your beauty. is I've taking out all of your beauty. Yeah, I've heard yeah, of that. yeah, yeah. So what do you would you say you're glowing or not glowing? I've had a couple people comment that I am glowing. Would you say I'm glowing? I would say you're always glowing. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean again? Boy. So if I'm pr pregnancy glowing, then it's a boy. Yes. Okay. But it also said if you're breaking out with pimples and stuff, that that's kind of not glowing. Yeah. So wh what would you say if we're if we're being objective here. Well, that's two different tests technically. If I have acne, it's a girl. If I'm glowing, it's... But what the heck is the difference between I don't know. glowing... I have no idea. People tell me I'm glowing, you ask them. Okay, glowing, it's a boy. That's what you all have said to her, so that's what we're going with. The next one is moody versus mellow. If you're moody, it's a girl. <laughs> is that a surprise? <laughs> if you're not moody, it's a boy. I can't wait for you to be a judge of this. Yes, I'm really happy and excited that I get to be the judge here. So, I would say, hmm, you know what? Again, being objective here. And, and compared to Louis' pregnancy too, like, pregnant women in general are just like grumpier, right? The first trimester, you were an a-hole. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Well, just think of how I felt the whole time. Yeah, no, I totally terrible. get it. And lately though, I think you've been better. Nice. You've not been as much. Okay. Sounds like just like I was with Louie. I was yeah. not nice, and then I was nice, and then at the third trimester I was not nice again because I was uncomfortable. So this one I think we're going to give a wash yeah. because there's no way it hasn't played out yet. Oh, the Ramsey method. What is the Ramsey method? The Ramsey method, I think, is if the the baby ultrasound, like on the ultrasound, is on the right, it's a girl. If it's on the left, it's a boy. Sure enough, they're right in the middle. <laughs> So she was just Googling the Ramsey method, and if it's something like right, left, it, the gender depends on where the baby is yeah. in there. Yeah. But have a look. So if you look at the bottom corner of the picture right here, there's a smaller picture, and as you can see, the baby is right smack dab in the middle. So probably, again, a wash. No way to tell the answer to that one because it's in the middle. I will say, though, I remember at our 16-week ultrasound, Louie was facing. Does that matter if he was facing... A certain direction and this mm. baby is facing the opposite direction does that mean it's a girl okay we'll leave it to you <laughs> next up we have the mayan calendar let's see what that one says so this is the mayan gender chart so age 26 conception march according to the ancient mayan gender chart we actually went to some ancient mayan ruins in Ch Ch chichen Ch i forget what it was called <laughs> something chichen <laughs> we actually visited the ancient mayan ruins there but anyway the ancient Mayan calendar predicts that our baby, age of conception, 26, month of conception, March, is a... Boy. Boy. Another one for the boys. What color is your pee? Yellow. No. Is it bright yellow, light, or dull? It was light. Congratulations, it's a girl. 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Have you experienced frequent headaches with your pregnancy? No, not at all. I think I've only had one headache this entire pregnancy and that was actually earlier this week. It says frequent headaches indicate boy, so the opposite of that is girl. Have you been experiencing lots of clumsiness or things like that during pregnancy? Um, nope. Congratulations, it's a girl! Have you experienced swollen legs or ankles? Not at all. Congratulations, it's a girl! <laughs> wow, the girls are just jumping ahead right now. I wonder what we're at. I don't know, we don't know the count. I wish we would have like kept the count, but Me the count's too. below. I think that's, is that all we have? We covered so many tests. I think we covered more in this one than we did with Louie. Really? Yeah, except for the garlic one. There is a garlic test. I am not going to do it. Ain't nobody got time for chewing on just it's raw me garlic. literally just eating garlic and mm. having max smell. If it doesn't smell, it's a boy or a girl. I don't remember the results. <laughs> garlic always smells. I know, exactly. What the heck? Like, That's not a given. Who can actually eat garlic and not smell after? Ooh. Not I. Yes. That is all that we have for all of the different old wives tales. It's been a few hours since we filmed. We got Louie home. He's playing with his little tool set. But we totally realized that we forgot to put our predictions in. Wow! Of, so, of what we think it is? Yeah, of what we think it is. So what do you think it is? Do you have any hunches? I'm just guessing because my pregnancy is so similar to Louie's that it is a boy. I heard that like one or the other gender, wow. like you have a completely different pregnancy experience. Some people don't, but that's what I see. I think it's all up in the air, but I have a hunch it's a girl. And did you think you knew what it was? With, like what? The yes, was? with Louis, I pretty much just had that gut feeling that it was a boy. That's and so weird. With this one, I have the gut feeling it's a girl. Guess we'll see. Louis, can you say hi? Says I'm eating my blueberries. Yeah. Say hi. Good job. All right, now we're gonna cut back into the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Let it us know. It was so fun to make. If you have any old wives tales that we missed, let us know. We can try them. We also have the ultrasound video coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.